Here's Brody Brazil. You know, after all these years of working in professional sports, one thing I've definitely realized is that luck gets a negative reputation. And it shouldn't, right? It always comes with a negative connotation. Like, you only got that done because you were lucky. Your team only did this because they got lucky. Luck's not a bad thing. It's the reward of being prepared and being in the right place at the right time. The most prepared athletes, the most well-built teams, at some point, if they're going to accomplish their end game, like win a title or whatever it is, you will need some form of luck on your side. And for the teams that win titles two and three years in a row, there had to have been luck somewhere along the way. To go along with all the talent and all the preparation and all the execution in the moment, luck has to factor in for every great individual and every great team in professional sports. So I wanted to pose this question on social media because I was really curious about what the answers would be. I don't know that for me, there is one definitive thing that is the luckiest thing that's ever happened to the San Jose Sharks. Sure, I can think of a couple instances where things went their way, but was that the result of pure luck or was that strategy and execution paying off? Hard to really tell in every different circumstance. But again, I I was really curious about the answers and I'll sift through some of them here. Beginning with maybe the most thoughtful of all, this comes from my my colleague at NBC Universal, Justin Karp, big Sharks fan, by the way, who says Joe Pavelski and Yevgeny Nabokov somehow being available at 205 and 214 overall, respectively, in the draft picks. Puck luck is fleeting, but draft luck changed the franchise. I think that's a great response and maybe the most sensible of all of them that you're about to see here because in a draft, you're obviously selecting somebody because of the opportunity and because of their potential, but you really don't know. I mean, it is a bit of luck in the draft and who turns out. And especially when we get to the fifth, sixth, seventh rounds of a draft pick, the 200 plus picks after that, you really don't know what you're going to get. And a lot of teams have been fortunate over the years, but Pavelski and Nabby, 205 and 214 overall, sure, those were lucky. And the Sharks were lucky to have them for years. But is that something that totally changed the face of the franchise? Did it directly win them a championship, a Stanley Cup? Not exactly, but I think that might be in the running for most luckiest thing. Okay, how about this one from Sharks and Rams? Sharks rally win that epic game seven in overtime, right? 2019 against Las Vegas in round one. I'm here to say, I know what you're thinking, but the four goals they scored and the payback for Joe Pavelski bloodied up, leaving the game, not coming back until uh, what, late in the next round? The four goals was not the lucky part. The lucky part was probably the penalty and how it was disciplined with a five-minute major. I'll say it here and now, maybe that was the luckiest part. Scoring the four goals, okay, that was timely. But the lucky part was probably how that play was called and how that play was disciplined. So I understand that night, how it turned out, maybe some luck involved. But again, all great teams need that luck. And you need to be a talented and competent performer to put yourself in that position to, you know, score four goals in a five-minute span to ultimately win that game in overtime. And the Barclay Goodrow goal in overtime, that that's not the lucky part to me. That's just the Sharks playing their shifts well. Coach DeBoer putting Goody back in when he knew he had fresh legs and the way he was able to score. That's more strategy than luck. But again, the luck was probably how the five-minute major was called. Okay, how about this one from M? Randy Hahn. Yeah, I do think the Sharks are very lucky to have Randy Hahn. Not only is somebody who was part of the grassroots organization to bring professional hockey to San Jose, but the fact that they ultimately, and after not initially making him the TV play-by-play voice, eventually they made the right decision, and he's been our guy ever since. So I like what you did there. I wanted to highlight that one. How about this thought from Jay? Chris Osgood's pass, you mean turnover, uh, to Jamie Baker in 1994, Game 7 against Detroit. Yeah, at Joe Louis Arena, I mean, that was the gift of all gifts. Now, 
Bake still had to know what to do with it and deposit it in the back of Detroit's net, but he did. So the way the goal was scored, for me, not the lucky part. But to your point, Osgood's turnover to Bakes was the lucky aspect of that. Because, yeah, Chris Osgood did not typically do something like that in a Game 7 of a playoff series. And, yeah, the Sharks were in those playoffs. They beat the Red Wings. They advanced. That was the true first competitive moment of San Jose Sharks hockey was advancing past that first round in 94 against Detroit. So I I would say, sure, that right there was a lucky aspect. Was it the luckiest thing that ever happened? I don't know. It's definitely, though, in the conversation. Same thing with Pavelski and Nabokov draft picks. Definitely in the conversation. How about this? Cameron suggesting the Joe Thornton trade from Boston was lucky. And I know going back, a lot of people thought that the Sharks truly fleeced the Bruins in that deal. And in retrospect, yeah, for what Jumbo did versus the return Boston got in the short term and in the long term, it it changed the franchise of San Jose to have Thornton and Marlowe together for a lot of years ahead. That was a big deal. Was that lucky? Maybe. Is it just being in the right place at the right time, being persistent on an ask, having the right assets that Boston would want? I guess, I guess a little bit of luck was involved there that they said yes to that, and it turned out how it did. Drafting Patrick Marlowe. Now, Thornton and Marlowe went one and two in the 97 draft. So getting a second overall pick, and by the way, the season prior, 96-97, the Sharks had won about, well, I think it was points-wise, 62. They were at 62 points that season. So... They had 60 this season, and they finished fourth to last overall. Getting a number two pick was great for them. I'm just saying, when you're the number two pick overall, and you had a draft class with Thornton and Marlowe going at the top, you knew you'd get one of those two. Was that that lucky? Was getting the pick lucky, or was making the selection lucky? The fact that it was Patty, and he lasted in the league so much longer than any of the other top 10 picks, minus... Joe Thornton, maybe that was the lucky part. Again, I don't know if that's luck or procedure, but sure, it can definitely fall in the conversation of fortune. Okay, and that brings us here to the final comment of many that there were, by the way, and I appreciate everybody's thoughts, what Bradley Fisher here is saying. The Sharks winning the draft lottery and drafting Connor Bedard first overall. Okay, if that happens... Right, This right here would easily be the luckiest thing that ever happened to the Sharks. In a time where they are restructuring, they are rebuilding, they just had one of their worst uh, season performances ever by the team. They're in a fortunate spot to maybe get one of the top picks. I think it's only about a 9 or 10% chance that they get the top pick. That would be luck. That the 10% part works out and they get the number one pick, and they would do it in a year that features Connor Bedard, right? Because what if this was last year? What if everything was time shifted to next year? Bedard's not there. He is here this year. And there's a number of other great picks too. I'm not going to diminish all of them. I'm not even going to get into all of them. But if we're here to talk about sheer luck, this would be super lucky. This, again, would be the most fortunate and lucky thing that would ever happen to the San Jose Sharks. So let me know what you think about all that in the comments section below. Did I miss something lucky that's happened to the Sharks? Let me know. Thumbs up on this video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time. 